I think I can hear a mild instability in the shuttle's port nacelle. Yes, the plasma annular confinement field was registering only 150 millicochrons on our trip back to the Enterprise. Sure was great to top off our supplies at that remote trading post on Gamaji 2. We were quite short on many items for our resupply runs to the nearby Drapani colony worlds next week. It sure was crowded, due to its excellent location on the main Alpha Beta Quadrant trade route. Strange way to sell goods, though. Many individually owned and run merchant stalls. Oh, did you find a gift for Ensign Stephanie Demetrius? Yeah, a decorative incense burning lamp from Thone Dinar, the vendor. I stopped by there too. Didn't he say he was going out of business? Yep, if a trading post doesn't allow a merchant to raise their prices as much as they need, then they can't stay in business. And the Gamaji Trading Guild prevents prices to rise above 10% month over month. That's too bad. Well, I bought some music data chips for Stephanie at the music stall run by Sally Q. Even she said she was losing money due to reduced profits. I know why. The Trading Guild recently rearranged the vendors, collecting all the entertainment stalls in one area. If two or more stores selling the same item are too near each other, then all their profits will decrease. Sally Q's stall is now right next to three other ones selling the same music chips. That doesn't seem fair. Competition is usually a good thing. Where's Ensign Stevens? He's supposed to coordinate the unloading of the cargo. Excuse me, crewman. I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, sir. The arguments you just employed, Mr. Cronin, while logically valid in form, were logically unsound due to the use of false premises. His argument seems to make sense. That may seem so, Lieutenant. However, both of Mr. Cronin's arguments made use of false premises. A false premise is an incorrect proposition that forms the basis of an argument or syllogism. Since the premise, proposition, or assumption is not correct, the conclusion drawn may be an error. A simple logical analysis will not reveal the error in arguments with false premises, since that analysis must accept the truth of the argument's premises. For this reason, such arguments can be much more difficult to refute or even discuss than one featuring a normal logical error. Mr. Cronin, your arguments took correct form, but were nevertheless unsound. In your first argument, the false premise was that the trading guild prevents prices to rise above 10%. They actually only limit rapid price increases when the commodity is life-sustaining to prevent price gouging in emergencies. That argument's conclusion is in fact false, as vendor Thone Dinar's statement that his lamp shop was going out of business was only a marketing ploy. Another feature of an argument based on false premises that can be devil critics is that its conclusion can in fact be true, such as in the case of your second argument. The false premise was the first one. If two or more stores selling the same item are too near each other, then all of their profits will decrease. In the case of the Gamaji trading post, there are more customers than can be accommodated by the stalls, and food vendors have usually been collected together, yet they do not suffer due to aggregation. Despite this false premise, the conclusion happens to be true. Sally Q, who I acquired Vulcan sheet music from, is losing money. But that is because she leases her stall, and the payments have increased recently, reducing her profits to zero. Since both of your arguments had a correct form, if the premises were true, then their conclusions should necessarily be true. But since some of the premises were false, nothing can be established from your arguments about the truth of your conclusions. Thank you, Commander Spock. Right. It appears I need to rethink my reasoning. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be sound unless the form is valid and that it does not contain any false premises, since the conclusion drawn may be an error. It's only logical.